hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be filming myself getting ready for um, filming because I'm filming a wig review after this chit chat get ready with me um, as I do this because I feel like I do this look all the time when I'm filming and but I still get people that ask for tutorials and I'm like it's really the same look it's like a neutral no eyeshadow kind of look I am a little bit all over the place because my office is not all the way together you guys know I moved um, three weeks ago and my office is still not set up so you'll see me like changing things as I go with like my setup and stuff so first of all I'm going to start off by using my Pond's dry skin cream and I thought my skin was oily but I think it's like going more so onto the dry side which is weird so I'm just going to go ahead and moisturize my face before I put any primer my couch came I love seat and it's super cute but I don't have any storage for my wigs and everything they're still in two giant boxes and it's taken up my entire room for the most part so I cannot wait till I bought two calyx shelves like I think in total it's 12 squares I think and I haven't built them yet so I can't wait until I build them okay so for primer I'm going to use the NYX Angel Veil primer and I've been using this for a couple years I think it's pretty good it's about $16 and it's a drugstore primer I think that's kind of expensive for a drugstore primer but I think it works pretty well with mattifying the skin so hopefully while we're on like quarantine I don't know how long this is gonna last this is the craziest thing I have ever heard y'all but I'm sure everybody feels like that this year I turned 30 in May and I wanted to go to Disney World for my 30th birthday but I don't think that's gonna happen so I let that mattify a little bit and then I take my crayon case chalk dust setting powder and I have used a whole bunch of this this is in the color C which is like a light yellow my Sasha buttercup setting powder that you know everybody used in banana it's a little bit too yellow like it's like really yellow this is a softer yellow I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush like this and just dust it over my eyebrows because I always start off with my eyebrows when I do my makeup and I feel like putting powder on your brows it kind of gives your brow pencil or whatever you're going to use a little bit of grip and I do dust it on, on top of my cheeks as well so I am going to color correct with the OG LA Girl Pro Conceal in Orange Corrector and it's not that bad right now actually it can get super dark I can get an eczema patch under my nose but it's actually not bad but I'm still gonna put it under my nose and a little under my eye just a little bit not too much So before I knew we were getting quarantined and stuff, I started to purchase a lot of spring stuff. I purchased, I did a haul from Amazon, I did one from um, Chic Soul. That was like a, a company I saw on Instagram and I seen a few like plus size content creators on YouTube do hauls from them. So I picked up a few items and only a few because they're kind of expensive to me. Um, and I do have a Shein haul coming up too. It's just, I got to find a place in this house that's, you know, ready to go where I can film one. Cause right now in this room, I just, it's so chaotic right now. 
Okay, for my brows, of course, I'm going to be using the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. And I'm using the shade 4.5. Uh, 4 and I'm going to go ahead and brush my brows up. And I'm just going to start at the bottom. And I'm not going to start too much, you know, towards the beginning of my brow. A little bit behind that. And I'm going to just start to draw my shape. And lately I've been going for a more dainty, like thinner brow. Because I feel like that's just flattering on my face. It just gives my face a softer overall look. And then up top, I'm still not going to start at the beginning. And a little bit before, like I'm going to start right here and then start to draw my brow. And something I'm going to do on my channel is probably more makeup content. I usually, uh, I've done makeup content over the last, you know, several years I've had my channel. But it's it's really, like, sporadic. Um, one, because they're usually not sponsored. And usually people don't watch my makeup videos as much as they do my wig reviews. But I love makeup so much. Um that I think I need to start doing more makeup content, you know, regardless of the amount of people that watch it. Okay, so I'm going to take what product is on my brows and just kind of brush it through. I'm going to do that on this side. And I'm going to brush it through just like I did with the other brow. And my thing with my eyebrows, and I've made this mistake too, like my makeup, <laughs> if you watch my makeup from 2013 to 2020, it's been a journey y'all um but one thing i've noticed about some people they'll bring their brows too much inward and i've done that before so this isn't shade but keep your brows like where your nostril is like don't go further in than that or it's gonna just start to, it's gonna look start to look weird so just make sure it's lined up with your nostril and try not to go too far in so march 30th marks seven years i've had my youtube channel and actually somebody reminded me of that like i've had it in my head i knew it was coming up but i wasn't going to make a big deal about it but it's just really exciting so i'm going to try to get some stuff together for you guys um to celebrate I might do a like a giveaway or something if you watch my empty house tour I told you guys that it gets so hot in my office I think it's because um because my room is like over a garage and stuff so it gets super hot up in here even though we have like air conditioning it's still like way hotter up here so I got a fan for this room, like one of those fan tower fans, and now I can tolerate being in here. So for my brows, I like to have, if you've looked at like since December, probably beginning of January, I've been doing my eyebrows a little bit different. I, of course I use the Precisely My Brow Pencil, but I also um, go with a highlighted brow bone and that just draws attention to the shape of your brow and I think that's why I've been getting so many compliments on my eyebrows because of that so what I do is I mix my foundation which is the wet n wild photo focus foundation in cocoa I mix it with P the P Louise base in rumor 02 you can use a lighter foundation and mix those together and then carve your brows out 
So that's what I'm gonna do. I put a little bit on the back of my hand and then I put my foundation on the back of my hand as well. <laughs> and I mix the two together. I do it on the back of my hand and I mix the two together. And I'm gonna move you guys in so you guys can see how I do my brows. So it's gonna be a lot lighter. Well, yeah, it's gonna be lighter than my complexion, but it's all gonna work. So Adrian just got home, so that's what all that noise is. So I only go to about where I started my brows was the pencil and I stopped right there. And I drag this onto my lid. What it do, baby? Cookies. So I'll go ahead and get my shape of my brow. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it to the other side. And I know it's gonna look crazy right now cause it's way lighter than my complexion, but it's gonna work. So I'm gonna carve this one out as well. All right, I know I look crazy. So. What I do for the front of my brow is I use my actual shade at the front and I blend it into the lighter color. So it creates more of an ombre kind of effect. And it gives your eye a little bit of a lift. I've been out of the makeup loop for a while. Like I don't even know what palettes are out or anything. Cause I've just been doing more like neutral looks with the exception of that lime green look I did recently. Okay, so I'm gonna go on the top when I do the top of my brows, I always go with my foundation color as well. take this Morphe M173 brush and I'm gonna blend out my brows and everything because right now I'm sure it looks like I have a unibrow So I'm going to set my lid, but also I use it kind of as a shadow, but this is my face powder and this is in, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder at 330 Toffee and I'm going to use that brush from Real Techniques. This is the setting brush. So, you know, usually people don't use brushes this big for, you know, your eyeshadow and stuff, but it's going to be setting my lid, but it's also, it does deposit a little bit of color, so I'm just going to put that on my lid. 
but keep it from going too high up on my on my lid so it doesn't go into that brow highlight. I feel like it deposits a little bit of color but not like anything to be noticed. Okay now I'm going to take my mascara and I'm going to go ahead and put that on my lashes before I apply my false lashes. And this is the Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. So, for my lashes, I'm going to be using, I think these are Sweet Pea by Remy Rose. And apparently I haven't worn these. The ones you see me wear in most of my videos are Buttercup, but... I think I took those off and just laid them somewhere. That happens a lot with me with my lashes. Um, and I'm going to take my strip lash adhesive. And this is from Lash Couture. And this is in black. And I'm going to do the It's My Ray Ray method of applying lashes. Where you put the lash glue directly above your lash line. And then you, you know, you put your lashes on top of it and as you can see these are my natural lashes I still have lashes y'all I still have them and I've been doing this for like several months at least six months and I don't have to put mascara on after I do this because the black liner I mean I don't have to put eyeliner on after this because the black strip lash glue looks like it and this doesn't irritate my eyes or anything and I'm gonna do it to the other eye and hopefully um then I'll let the glue get a little bit tacky and I'm doing it just as I would with liquid liner it's going slightly above my lash line If you don't feel comfortable doing this, you don't have to, but it works for me. And I've seen other people do this as well. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Extra Intense uh, Liquid Pencil Eyeliner in black. Okay. It looks like that. It's like a cold pencil and I'm going to put that on my lower... I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. Alright, so I slid my little head scarf thing back just so I can blend my foundation with my lace because it's light right now but that'll be you know talked about in my wig review so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation this foundation I've been probably using this for like three years off and on and I always come back to it because I think the shades cocoa and toffee are really really good and I get a lot of compliments on this foundation and it's super cheap. It's like I have the foundation on so to highlight I'm going to use a lighter foundation and I feel like this has been working a lot better for me than concealer. Concealer is fine but just using a 
foundation that's lighter than my complexion is working well. And this is the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. And this is in color 332 Golden Caramel. And so I just take some on the back of my hand. And then I take that flat brush that I use to carve out my brows. And I go underneath my eyes. And I do it kind of in that triangle shape. I know I look crazy now, but it's going to come together. Put it on my chin. And then I put it on my forehead. Okay, so you can see how bright it gets under there, but it's going to blend out and look good. So I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with my Real Techniques, with my Real Techniques sponge. Especially on the edges because you want that to be a nice blend. <laughs> okay so I'm going to take my crayon case setting powder and put that under my eye I love doing my foundation this way I just think it just looks really flawless like this okay to warm my face up around the edges I'm gonna take this wet and wild um, contour stick and this is in where's walnut and I'm just gonna put a little bit around my forehead and underneath my cheekbones and I'm going to put like some where my eyebrows starts and just kind of drag it down a little bit. And that'll blend right into my brows and my eyebrows. I'm going to blend that out. This is such a simple look, but it always looks good. And I used to do a whole bunch of like eyeshadow looks, but this look just is so flattering and it's not, it doesn't take that long. So that's what I tend to wear most of the time. And then I'm going to take, I don't even know what kind of brush this is. I know it's from NYX. And it's like a bigger like fluffy brush and I'm going to use that to blend out. I'm blending it into the beginning of my brow actually. I'm kind of sweeping it into my brow area. Okay, and I'm going to set my contour with the Koki Cosmetics Powder Contour Palette. And I'm going to use this big fluffy um, contour brush. I think it's from BH Cosmetics. 
I think it's the 111 brush, but it's rubbed off, so. Okay, so for my blush, I'm going to use the Carity Blush Bomb Palette in Pow Pink. And I'm going to be using Fleek in Hey There. And I'm just going to use the same contour brush and just kind of bring it into my contour. I'm not going to use too much. Well, actually, it, I'm starting to see it, so I'm using quite a bit. Tone it down just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in 100 Molten Gold. And I have had the same one for two years. It's probably time for me to get a new one because I think I bought it in like January 2018. It's probably time to get a new one. And I'm just going to highlight my nose. And I like to do between my brows or between my eyes as well, just a little bit. So I'm going to line my lips with the Rimmel London pencil in Coffee Bean. Okay, so... I'm going to take the crayon case liquid lipstick in Marie, which is this beautiful, like, dusty, pinkish mauve color. I'm going to put that on first. And I want, I want to go just slightly lighter. So I'm going to use a little bit of that lighter foundation. Yes, I've done this on my channel before and I just wanted a just a lighter color. So I'm going to put that on there. And then I'm going to use the NYX Butter Gloss in Fortune Cookie and put that on top. This always happens in my get ready with me videos. Like I start off talking and then I just get all makeup. I love a nude lip y'all. Right, guys so here is the final makeup look I told you guys I this is very simple I do this look in a lot of my wig reviews because it's neutral and it's natural and it just it's always flattering so um, thank you guys so much for tuning in to a makeup video um, I'm gonna try to bring more makeup content on my channel for you guys so if you are interested in more makeup content give this video a thumbs up share with me down in the comments different kinds of makeup videos you would like to see um, product reviews and stuff like that because I like I told you guys I am out of the loop as far as makeup goes so I don't even know what's out there I've just been using my tried and true stuff so um, thank you guys so much for tuning in if you are interested in this hair I think this review should be up before the tutorial so you know look out for that and if you are new to my channel be sure to subscribe turn on your notifications and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys want it easy want it badly but i can get what i want too much pressure too much pleasure but not much to rely on your love